Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeremiah and I'm a third year biomedical science student at Singapore Polytechnic. And with school starting this week, I can't help but feel the nervousness and excitement of getting back into the motions of studying. And naturally, I've been thinking and wondering how can I best prepare myself for class, setting myself up for success? So in this video, I thought it'd be interesting to talk about the varying levels when it comes to preparing for class and how so long as we take up one level of this studying preparation, you'd be better off than not preparing for class. Now I have the varying levels to also represent reality where sometimes you just don't have the time to prepare for class or sometimes you just don't feel like preparing for class, which is understandable with the long poly journey. And as usual, the timestamp to these varying levels will be in the description, so feel free to click around for your viewing pleasure. So on the first level, something that doesn't take much time and something that we should all honestly be able to do, is just to read through the learning objectives. This doesn't take much time and honestly, how many learning objectives can it actually be? At most 5 per lecture? And it'll probably take just 15 minutes to get through it so you can just throw it on the train coming to school. And all you need to do within these 15 minutes is to distinguish between current knowledge and future knowledge. Current knowledge is what you already know, things that are already in your memory, you know it, you understand it, you don't have to look into it. And for future knowledge, it's stuff that you're going to know because we like to believe that we will know whatever's going on after we study the content. And the benefit of doing this is to just know what you don't know when going to the lesson so maybe you can pay extra attention to it and maybe you can bring it up to your teacher's attention that hey, I may need more help in this area so he or she may focus on this area more. And if you have a little extra time within this 15 minutes, you can do some super light reading on the stuff, the future knowledge, so that you go into lessons not asking the simple questions like what is the definition of this and you can have a more productive conversation with your teacher when inquiring on some of the knowledge gaps that you have. The next level of class preparation is to just know how the lecture flows and we do this by marking down the depths of where the lecture may go. So say you do a simple google search on the top 5 or the only 5 management techniques to deal with conflict in the workspace and you discover that within your lecture slides, they're only covering three of them. So you can go into class with the mindset or asking the teachers like, why are we only going to three of them, at least the most important ones? Is it due to company specific culture that only allows these three? So it raises different questions and helps you look at the topic with a different perspective. And after doing this background information search on the topic, you can do some brief notes on the lecture flow, what the lecturer may be talking about. Sometimes you don't understand something because there's not enough context to understand something in the bigger picture. So by knowing the flow of it, you know that, hey, the lecturer may mention this point later on, so I don't have to ask him now because I understand that with the context of a later slide, I'll understand this overall picture and understand the content. And overall, just understanding what the lecturer is going to say means that you wouldn't surprise yourself in the lecture hall because you know what the lecturer is going to say. So instead of going in with this, hmm, what is the lecturer going to cover today? You're already in a state of absorbing, like, hey, I know what's going to be covered, I'm here to learn X, Y, and Z, and it's going to be a lot easier for me to learn because I know why I'm here to learn and what I'm here to learn. And for the final level of class preparation is to really just go learn the content and it will be an incorporation of everything and all the techniques that we've done so far. And of course, for this entire video, we've operated under the understanding or under the assumption that you're given the lecture content before the lesson, which is usually the case in poly. So I do have a list written down here, which I'll be referencing. So if I'm looking off to the site, you kind of know why. So the first thing that you do is to just copy all the learning objectives from the lecture and then you start to browse through the entire lecture, making notes of which part of the lecture fit into which part of the objective, basically structuring all the lecture slides. And it may be helpful to just write down which slide goes with which objective in your notes. And afterwards, knowing which slide belong to which objective, you can start putting down major headers, so maybe the top three headers under each objective of what the main crux of it is. And from there, you can start to distill between what's knowledge or current knowledge and what's future knowledge. Now, because we are just preparing for class, there's no need to put down whatever your current knowledge is. We're just focusing on future knowledge. So what you can do from that point is to go and research whatever you can find on the topic, distill it down and put it as bullet points within this future knowledge gap. And this serves two purposes. The first being that you're able to understand the first principles better because you're exploring all the possibilities. And the second is through discussions by raising alternative answers to the lecturer, this discussion fosters better understanding. You're forming neural links between all the points, so it helps you out in two ways. And that's basically it. There's a real difference between preparation and actually studying the content. Preparation is so that you wouldn't be surprised. You know what the lecturer is talking about. So when you go in, you're ready to absorb the content. 
In class, it's about discussions, learning from one another, solidifying your standpoint on the topic. And at home, it's when you understand, you memorize, and through memorizing or through understanding, you memorize. And from there, you're able to learn the topic from all aspects. And that is why this kind of sequential step or the step-by-step -step basis of this learning approach is really important. Because if you were to skip any of these steps, you mean pushing the steps down and procrastinating the steps, meaning the part where you wouldn't be surprised would be in the lesson and the part of discussion will be after the lesson when there's no discussion and basically just derails everything makes it less efficient. So if we kind of stick to this, we may find learning to be a bit more enjoyable because it's a systemic approach that is fun for us, we're able to understand the topic better and that may ultimately just lead to better grades. Alright, and with that, I hope that we can all walk into class together with our heads a little higher, knowing that we're better prepared for the class. If you want a full breakdown of this entire study workflow, you may want to click on this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.